After using this AI tool for two days, I can confidently say bye-bye to VFX software. This AI tool not only creates your desired characters, but also brings them to life with dancing animations. Moreover, it allows you to animate any character from an image and even animate your own photo. However, the standout feature of this remarkable AI tool is its motion capture capability. Seamlessly capturing motion from any video, it enables you to replace characters effortlessly. To do this, we will use Viggle AI. Let's go to vigili.ai first. You'll be directed to this screen. If you don't have a Discord account yet, please create one first. Then click on Join the Beta and Accept Invite. Next, answer a few questions and you'll arrive at the Viggle AI Discord server. Here, you'll find multiple channels such as Animate 1, Animate 2, etc. Click on any one channel. Firstly, let's create a character using Viggle AI. To do this, type slash character. At the time of recording this video, the slash character function isn't operational as the Viggle team is upgrading this feature. However, previously it worked. To generate an image, we just needed to type slash character and then provide a prompt to generate the image. As you can see here, I provided the prompt 3D Superman character and we received these images as a result. Using the slash character function, I created all these images. Once you generate the image using the slash character function, you can easily animate it. Just select the image you want to animate. I'll choose the third image, so I've selected P3. Next, provide an animation prompt. Click on the Step 2 link for that. You'll reach this screen where you can see multiple animation styles. Just click on the animation you want to use. Then click the Copy button to select the animation prompt. Click OK. Then go back to Viggle AI and click on Viggle This. A form will pop up. In the first field, paste the animation prompt. In the second field, enter the animation, enter 0 for a white background, 1 for green, or else enter 2. In the Fine Tune field, type On. Then click on Submit. Your animation will be ready. You can see it here. This way, you can generate characters and animate them using Viggle. Now, if you want to animate any character from an image, type slash animate. You'll see this animate function. Just click on it. Here, upload the character image you want to animate. Then provide the motion prompt. For that, let's go to vigile.ai slash prompt and copy your desired animation prompt. Then go back to Discord and paste the prompt in the Motion Prompt field. Click on the background and select from White, Green, or from Template. If you choose Green, you can easily remove it using Chroma Key. But for now, I'm choosing White. Then click on Fine Tune and select On. Hit Enter. You can see that our request has been submitted. Just wait for a while and boom, our animation is ready. Let's play this. Now, if you want to animate your own photo, the process is the same. Type slash animate, upload your own photo, provide the motion prompt, select the background, fine tune on, and hit enter. You can see the animation of my own. Explore the motion capture function of Viggle. If you want to use motion capture and VFX like this, type slash mix. In the first box, upload the character image. And in the second box, upload the video from where you want to capture the motion. Now, select the background. Turn fine tune on. And hit enter. Wait for a few seconds, and here's our animated character with motion capture. Isn't it exciting? Well, this is just a sample of what Viggle can do. But using Viggle, you can generate this type of VFX and character replacement. Let's try this. To create this type of video and VFX, first, capture the motion from the source video. To do this, type slash mix, 
Then upload the character image, in this case, Jack Sparrow, and then upload the source video for motion capture. Next, select Green Screen as the background, turn Fine Tune on, and hit Enter. In a while, our animation with the green screen will be ready. Just download this. Now, we need to remove the subject from the source video. For that, we will use runway.ml. But before that, I suggest you split the source video into multiple parts for better results. I split the source video into two parts, one and two. You can use any tool to split the video. I used Wondershare Video Converter for this. Now, let's go to runway.ml, sign in, and you'll see the option Edit Video in the left sidebar. Click on it. Then click on In Painting. Click on the Upload button and upload both parts of the source video. Drag the first part to the timeline. Then increase the brush size for In Painting. Select the subject you want to remove, and once you select it, it will start in painting and remove the subject from the video, as you can see here. Now, preview the video. If you find any glitches, pause the video and again select to remove the subject or its part. Like you can see here, some parts of the subject are still there, so let's repaint it to remove it. Once you're done with the first part of the source video, click on Go to Project, then click on Assets and drag the second part of the video to the timeline. Click on In Painting. Now repeat the same process as part one to in paint and remove the subject. Now we've removed the subject from both parts of the source video, so let's preview it. Now, click on the Export button, then click on Export Video. Now click on Go to Export to see the progress of our export. You can see that export is in progress, just wait for 100% export. Now, Click on the three dots and then click on Download. So, our source video without the subject has been downloaded. Now, open any video editor of your choice. I'm using Filmora for it. Import both videos, the green screen animated video and the source video without the character. Now, drag the source video to the first layer of the timeline, then drag the green screen video to the second layer of the timeline. Now, remove the chroma key and this is ready. Well, the quality of the green screen animation is not good because the photo quality was not good. Let's export this video. And here is the final video with a comparison. Apart from this, using the same method, I created this video, even this video. I won't say to like this video. I leave this up to you. See you in the next video.